Cinema 5D, and I'm here with Tim Smith from Canon USA. Tim, did the DSLR revolution catch Canon by surprise? Yeah, it absolutely did. I mean, a year ago we were here at the show with people aisles and aisles deep looking at these 5Ds while we're talking about video cameras, and here we have still cameras. Different feeling this year. I mean, we learned a lot in the last 12 months about what people want, what people need, and then we're going to respond to it at some point. I mean, I wish it was today, but we will not ignore this. It's just too much business out there not to not to look at what the possibilities are. Has this, you know, made Canon think uh, differently about the video cameras that they make? I think, yeah, it has actually. I mean, we just introduced today this, this new one-third inch chip, and I understand that in your reader's world, the bigger chip, the better. But we also have a world for this too. The idea is that we have to have products for all of our different segments. My particular segment happens to be where you are. It's television and film, it's episodic. It's not sports or news, things like that. But there's there's room for all of these cameras. There's room for um, for video cameras with large chips, there's room for video cameras with small chips. There's advantages and disadvantages of both, depending on your application. As far as whether we're looking at, which is the obvious question, are we looking at a video camera with a big chip in there? Um, you know, it's, it's certainly coming up a lot. It's on our mind, we're having our meetings. Now, could I tell you when? Could I tell you what it's going to be? Not yet, even if I knew, I, I, and I don't. You know, we're still in this, this, you know, what should it be? What price should it be? There's a lot of big chip cameras out there. They're expensive. There's some that are less expensive. So we got to figure out where we fit in this. We know we got the picture. We know we've got the customer base. We know that people are just going crazy over this. So we'll pull, we'll pull it all together. You know, and we're sort of kind of in this unique place to do it. Lens technology, chip technology, camera technology, I, you know, I, we'll come up with something. Now, the real question that my guys at Cinema 5D want to know is when is the 7D and the 1D Mark IV going to get manual audio control, HDMI outs, and all the other little things that we want to make these cameras cinema ready? Firmware upgrades on, on, well obviously we've done a bunch of firmware upgrades now on the 5Ds in response to the customer's desires, to their needs and what they're doing, which is a first for Canon. I mean, in all my years at Canon, putting out a firmware like we did the last one, the 24 frame, adding a feature to a camera that wasn't there, we don't do that. We haven't done that. We've put out firmwares that made adjustments or bug fixes, something along those lines, but never added features before. So you're looking at a company that's open to new possibilities. Will we add specific features to the other cameras? We're not opposed to it, if the demand is there and, and we have the ability to do it, it's something we would definitely consider. Is there something coming tomorrow? Nope, not tomorrow, not next month. You know, we got, we're, there's a lot on our plate right now. Um, getting 24 frame and getting manual control on an existing product that was selling like hotcakes was a lot of work too, so we'll, we'll get there. And the best way to make that happen is to have the people that are watching this keep pushing us. You know, the, the demand for these changes is coming from your audience, not from us to your audience. That's a big change in this industry. Instead of saying, here's your camera, go use it, it's here's the camera, and then you guys are telling us, I'm only going to do it if you do this. And we're responding. So, you know, maybe it's a good economy, maybe it's a bad economy. Whatever's pushing us that way, it's working for everybody.